According to the latest reports, Ariana Grande has a net worth of $50 million. Not bad for a 25-year-old. What does this young star spend her millions on? Keep watching to find out. Number 17, The Beginning. How does one become worth tens of millions of dollars? Before we get to all the things in Ariana Grande's closet, let's take a look at her background and see how she acquired all these millions in the first place. First of all, her last name is pronounced as Grande, not Grande, but the star insists Grande is fine. Ariana Grande Butera was born on June 26, 1993, to Edward Butera and Joan Grande. She also has an older brother, Frankie Grande, who works as an entertainer and producer. Ariana is of Italian descent and describes herself as half Sicilian and half Abruzzese. Her parents divorced when she was very young. In later years, Ariana admitted that she received a lot of mental health counseling throughout the years following her parents' divorce. If you're a fan, then you know all about her estrangement with her father, something that she references in her smash hit, Thank You Next. She would live in her hometown, Boca Raton, Florida, until she became more serious about her music and acting career. Number 16, to the stage. When we're kids, most of us think we know what we want our careers to be, only to have a nervous breakdown in our early 20s when we realize we want something else. When did Ariana know that she wanted to work in showbiz? She says she started seriously pursuing an entertainment career at 13 years old. At age 8, she was already performing at karaoke lounges on a cruise ship. If you couldn't tell from her powerful singing voice, this is a girl that started in musical theater. Her first television appearance was at a Florida Panthers game, where she sang the Star Spangled Banner. She performed with the Fort Lauderdale Children's Theater, where she scored her first ever role as the title character in Annie. When she turned 14, she moved to Los Angeles to pursue her dreams. Number 15, Victorious. Ah, the Nickelodeon days. Some of you may have seen Ariana Grande for the first time on the show Victorious, where she played Cat Valentine and had hair color like red velvet. The show was immensely popular, premiering in 2010 to 5.7 million viewers, the second largest live action series in Nickelodeon's history. At the end of the first season, Ariana decided to focus on her music career and started working on her first album. Those around for the early Grande times remember that she frequently uploaded videos of herself singing covers on YouTube. The final season of Victorious aired in 2013. Grande continued her role as Cat Valentine in the Victorious spin-off title, Sam and Cat, but that was canceled after 36 episodes. In 2011, Grande was featured on another Nickelodeon show, Winx Club, where she voiced Princess Diaspro. Number 14, Yours Truly. Around the time of Sam and Cat, Grande finished the recording of her first album, released in August of 2013, after three long years of putting it together. The debut work, Yours Truly, came out at number one on the U.S. Billboard 200 Albums chart. Shortly after, she released the song, The Way, featuring a little someone by the name of Mac Miller. That song debuted at number one on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100. Grande has been quoted as being embarrassed by her first album, but because of it, she quickly gained more traction as a singer. In 2014, she released her second album, My Everything, which has the track Problem featuring Australian rapper Iggy Azalea. The next year, Grande briefly returned to acting to guest star on the comedy horror TV show, Scream Queens. Number 13, A Dangerous Woman. Following her time at Nickelodeon and her quick rise in popularity, it seemed fitting her third studio album was titled Dangerous Woman because it was clear there was no stopping this young woman. Many consider her the one who came out victorious following the end of the victorious season, as opposed to the lead of the show, Victoria Justice, who doesn't have a prominent career anymore. The year 2016 was a big one for Grande. Dangerous Woman was number one all over the world, and she earned a Grammy nomination for it. This year, she appeared in the NBC TV broadcast of Hairspray Live, where she played Penny Pingleton. She performed the song Faith on The Voice with Stevie Wonder. She was nominated for a Golden Globe, appeared in Carpool Karaoke episode, participated in the Jingle Ball Tour, and hosted an episode of SNL. Number 12. Brand Deals and Fashion Collabs Grande continued her success from 2016 into 2017, signing up with different brands for collaborations. She became the face of the London-based women's clothing brand Lipsy, launching a 20-piece collection. Not long after, she signed a year-long contract to partner with athletic shoe brand Reebok. A spokesperson for Reebok said Grande as a central to their global marketing and digital efforts. With Grande's 100 million followers on Instagram, it made sense that Reebok saw her as a surefire way to bring attention to their new fashion lines. Perhaps the biggest and best deal for Grande was when she became a brand ambassador for Lux Brands. Grande and Lux Brands issued five fragrances together, a venture that reportedly grossed over $150 million. Number 11. Thank you, next. You were probably wondering when we're going to talk about this smash hit, right? Well, wait no more because the ex-boyfriend anthem of the year is next on our list. Grande released the song Thank You Next right after her breakup with comedian and actor Pete Davidson. In February, Grande revealed she wrote the song amid their on-again, off-again relationship. 
She wrote two versions because she wasn't sure if they would break up for good. When they finally did, Grande released the version we've all heard by now. The record-breaking song was in the Hot 100 singles for weeks and weeks in a row. In the first week, the song had over 93.8 million plays on Spotify. The song sold 81,000 digital downloads after just days of being out. The music video broke records on YouTube and Vivo. Grande surely made some big bucks with this one. Number 10. Social Media Queen Ariana Grande's presence on social media is huge. She has over 146 million followers on Instagram and 61.1 million on Twitter. During her breakup with Pete Davidson, which was around the time her ex-boyfriend Mac Miller passed away, Grande announced she was taking a break from social media for emotional and mental health reasons. She didn't stay away for too long. Upon her return, she's more popular than ever. Her Instagram statistics show that her account gains an average of 9,000 followers every day. Not counting the few times she's unplugged from social media, Grande seems to post consistently, ensuring her fans are always seeing content. Number 9. To Beverly Hills Now that you know Grande has been working incredibly hard over the years, it makes sense that she's worth $50 million. Let's see what she spends her money on. What's one of the first big moves Grande made with her steadily growing wealth? She moved into a mansion located in one of the wealthiest neighborhoods in California, Beverly Hills. The home measures to a whopping 6,226 square feet, or 578 square meters, and has 5.5 bathrooms. The gated house sits on a hillside, giving Grande views of the Hollywood Hills. In her bedroom is a massive walk-in closet for her many, many oversized sweaters and thigh-high boots. Number 8. The Big Apple In May of 2018, shortly after her split with boyfriend of two years, the late Mac Miller, Grande began dating Pete Davidson. Their whirlwind romance moved quickly. Within months of dating, the two bought an apartment together in Chelsea, Manhattan. The flat is in a building designed by world-renowned architect Zaha Hadid. It cost the couple $16 million for the 4,023 square foot or 373 square meter apartment, which was complete with five bedrooms and 4.5 bathrooms. Davidson and Grande split in October 2018, and there's no word if Grande kept the property. Number seven, her cars. Even though she's rich enough to hire people to drive her around, it seems she likes driving herself around most of the time. If she didn't, she wouldn't have purchased the expensive car she keeps in her garage. We have concluded she's a big Mercedes fan because she owns two cars from this brand, a Mercedes E-Class, Cabriolet, and a Mercedes G-Class. The former is priced at $67,300, while the G-Class is slightly more at $124,500. Then she owns a staple young Hollywood woman's vehicle, the Range Rover. The MSRP of this luxury vehicle is $89,160. People have spotted Grande driving a Lamborghini Huracan before too, which has an MSRP of $199,800. We're not done yet. If those cars weren't enough, Grande could also take her Chevrolet Suburban for a spin, a sports utility vehicle that costs $50,000. Number 6. Private Jet Ariana Grande flies from city to city in her private jet. She's posted numerous photos of her on her plane, many times with her friends. There was word going around that after the Manchester concert incident, Taylor Swift paid for Grande's flight back to the United States. TMZ debunked this rumor and confirmed that Grande and her manager, Scooter Braun, split the payment of the jet, each paying 50%. Number 5. All Her Tattoos As far as the public knows, Ariana Grande has 36 tattoos, with 24 of those being from the past year. Her first tattoo was in 2012. She started with a small outline of a heart on her toe. Her second tattoo was three years later, the words Mil Tendris written on the back of her neck. It's French for 1,000 tendernesses, which is a line from Breakfast at Tiffany's, her favorite movie. Her most visible ink work is the outline of a crescent moon on her neck. When she dated Pete Davidson, the two received a few matching tattoos, such as a cloud and the word Lumos, in reference to Harry Potter. Number 4. Besties The song Seven Rings is from Grande's fifth studio album, Thank You, Next. Republic Records released the song in January and is the album's second single. If you listen to the lyrics, Grande sings about spoiling her friends with her riches. The Tiffany & Co. rings that Grande bought for her six closest friends inspired the lyrics of the song. Grande purchased the jewelry shortly after parting ways with her ex-fiancé Davidson. The rings serve as a symbol of her strong friendships. When asked what the inspiration behind the song was, Grande replied that it was a challenging fall day in New York. Number 3. New Hair Another line from Seven Rings references people complimenting Grande on her hair. In the song, Grande refers with, Gee thanks, just bought it. It's not just a quirky line that rhymes. She really does spend a lot of money on her hair. By now you've noticed how long Grande's hair is, but that's not all her natural hair. In November of last year, Grande posted a selfie on Instagram that displayed her shoulder-length hair. However, she is still photographed with longer hair, which confirms that she also wears extensions. Her hair appears all sorts of styles and usually somewhere in the brown to blonde range. When she sported bangs in 2016, many people speculated that they were probably extensions too. 
Number two, a pig and dogs. Grande has more than a handful of dogs under her care. Two years ago, it was reported that she owned nine dogs and all of them were rescues. When Mac Miller passed away in September of last year, she adopted his pet dog, Myron. While dating Pete Davidson, she took in a tiny pig, which she cleverly named Piggy Smalls. Grande loves animals, but she doesn't own any cats because she's allergic to them. Before we get to number one, we have a question to ask. Are you a fan of Ariana Grande? If so, what's your favorite song of hers? If you're lukewarm on her, then who is your current favorite pop star? Let us know in the comments below. Number one, philanthropy. Sure, she has pretty luxurious belongings, but Ariana Grande has also made it apparent that she loves to give back. Not only to her friends or animals in need, but to others too. When she was 10 years old, she co-founded Kids Who Care, a young singing group that performed for charitable events. In 2007, the group raised over $500,000 with her brother Frankie. She became a member of the charitable organization Broadway in South Africa, where she performed and taught dance and music to children. To help the victims of the Manchester bombing incident at her concert, Grande organized the One Love Manchester concert. She ended up raising $23 million for the victims and their families. The singer also performed in a concert for Charlottesville that was organized to help the victims of the 2017 rally in Charlottesville, Virginia. Last year, she participated in the March for Our Lives in support of gun control legislation. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. For more of our videos, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and turn on that bell notification so that you don't miss a thing.